Okay, the president directing several federal agencies as he heard to work with Attorney General Barr and declassify documents linked to the origins of the investigation into the Trump campaign. You're going to hear from House Intelligence Republican, the top ranking Republican on that committee, Devin Nunes, in just a few minutes. You'll get his reaction. But first, let's debate with Chris Hahn from the Aggressive Progressive podcast and Fox News contributor Ari Fleischer. Great to have both of you with us tonight, gentlemen. Great to be here. Okay, so to recap, Sarah Sanders says this about this declassification memo tonight. The attorney general has been delegated full and complete authority to declassify information pertaining to this investigation. Today's action will help ensure that all Americans learn the truth about the events that occurred and the actions that were taken. Chris, isn't that what, regardless of party, everybody should want? Well, the president is taking this authority away from the director of national intelligence, Dan Coats who hasn't always been on the same page with the president, and he's giving it to his loyal servant and basically his defense attorney, Attorney General Barr. I think all Americans should be concerned about that. Look, I want things disclosed. I think we keep far too much stuff under classified seal. I've said that before. But the reason the president is doing this is because he wants that authority with the guy who's loyal to him and who is not necessarily loyal to the institution or to the Constitution. Okay, but let's and bring, that should let's bring Ari here, in here. Because, listen, he's, he's not going to manufacture or create information, but Ari, he may take the you know curtain off of something that some folks may not want out there in public. And this is important, Shannon, because when one party decides it's going to use the powers of the state, surveillance powers, confidential informant powers, and electronic eavesdropping to monitor an opposing campaign, they better have the goods on that opposing campaign. And we now know they didn't. The entire investigations of the president and President Trump was not merited. They didn't have collusion, yet they pursued it anyway. And you don't want to set the precedent that one party in power can do that to the party out of power. So we need to know what happened. They clearly overreacted. The Obama administration made terrible, wow. terrible mistakes that divided the country for two years. And people do need to know. And the Department of Justice is the appropriate place well, to look into wrongdoing. Yeah, and Chris, if that didn't happen, then why should any of these agencies or any of the people who, most of them, who were kind of in the crosshairs, they are gone from the administration. They're not still in these positions. Well, but, what, but if they don't have anything to hide, why should they care about this stuff going public? Well, I, I think we've seen, this is the third investigation of this now. There was an investigation by the, uh, by the internal investigation. Mm -hmm. And there We're was uh, the inspector general. And, 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 and that should be coming out soon. There was another investigation uh, by an attorney uh, appointed by a, a, a DA, a, U, a U.S. attorney Yeah, two in U.S. Utah. attorneys. This is the third... It, this is the third. This is the third investigation into this, and I'm fine with investigating things and finding the truth. But Ari made an A to C jump here, which is to say that there was some sort of political involvement here, which we have no evidence of whatsoever, other than the president of the United States saying that that's what happened. What these, what was going on was law enforcement was following leads. They were, what we understand is that they were getting FISA warrants done properly. And Ari, you're making a very big jump here to say that this well, was politically motivated. But that's the thing. Very if we see this, say that. then people can make a decision for themselves. And if there was no political motivation, I think that will be very reassuring to a lot of Americans that you don't I, have to worry I about agree. these people in high positions and that we should, you know, Shannon. be happy about well, that. Well, then but we should keep it away from Shannon, people. We should keep it away from political people like, like, like the attorney general. But again, who if he is exposing information, not manufacturing dog. and saying things that weren't said, but if he is putting things out there that actually happen, that's not manufacturing, that's exposing. Ari? But listen, let me jump in here. I think Chris just showed his worst worries. He's the one who said political interference. I never used those you words. Did. I said that the Obama administration, which is true, that all the surveillance decisions were made during the Obama administration because they panicked. They overreacted and they reacted with bad judgment. Now, I didn't think or say yet it was political. Let's see what the Justice Department finds. But we know it was wrong. We know that it should be extraordinarily unusual to use police powers, state surveillance powers, to spy on an opposing campaign. You should only do it if you got the goods. They didn't have the goods, I agree. as we now know. They blew I... it. And so what you need to know is they have to have an investigation to how and why it took place. I think it's very revealing that you immediately leapt to political causes. Well, I think you're showing is, your worst that fears is that were, that's what you that think. What you I, were I'm saying let it, uh, Chris, don't interrupt. <laughs> Chris, don't interrupt. I'm oh, saying let the investigation go wherever the investigators think it needs to go, and then we'll hear from the uh, Department of Justice, just as we heard from Bob Mueller. Yes. Yeah, I mean, we well, hear a lot, of, a lot about of how Justice... Sunshine is going to be the best disinfectant, and I think everybody agrees they want yes. to know. And if there was no one at fault, that's good. We need to know that, too, Chris. That's right. 
I agree. And the DOJ does have a, an intense investigation going on right now in the inspector general's office. But the president's not satisfied with that because it might be too independent. He's also not no. satisfied with his own DNI being the one who declassifies, which Ari knows, having worked in the White House, is usually the way intelligence in information is declassified. In fact, the DNI often blocks justice from releasing classified information because it might reveal an asset that is too important, more important than well, any criminal charges that the yeah, that my understanding of this, of this memo, this having worked in the White House. My understanding of this memo, which is rather brief, it says, listen, in, in accordance with you know the restrictions that you would have you're not just going to go dump uh, you know files full of classified information out there I think this is going to be a much longer much uh, more patience inducing process than a lot of people think so I think we should all cool yeah. our jets for a little bit and just wait to see and well, Shannon there's one other point here too. Yeah, too. The, inspector general, the, the inspector general only has jurisdiction over what happens in the Department of Justice mm -hmm. Clearly here there are issues that involve the CIA and the State Department. The IG has no jurisdiction over them. That's why you need the Attorney General's office, the actual U.S. attorneys and prosecutors under the AG to ask questions to CIA and State. IG doesn't go that far. So this is the first investigation that actually is thorough and can include other government agencies right. that were involved. We will stand by. Come back, Chris and Ari, when we know more, when we see stuff, and we can Thank talk you. about it. Thank you both.